certified most accurate. Now, your first worn five forecast with Mid Michigan's only live radar. Here's Chief Meteorologist Brian Bachman. All right, a very good Thursday evening, everyone. Yeah, it was another cloudy day here in mid Michigan. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you about that. So rather than just go on and on about how cloudy it was, we talked a little bit about this at five o'clock. But if you weren't with us, I wanted to go over this again because we've been talking all month. It seems about how mild of a January it has been. And well, that's because it certainly has. We look at the high temperatures over the course of the month at MBS Airport alone. We've seen 21 days where the high temperatures have been above average only only two where it's been colder than normal and seven, including the last three days, including today, that have been exactly where they should be for this time of the year. All told, you take the average of all the high temps and all the low temps for the month, you average them out. It comes out to an average temperature for the whole month at 30.6 degrees. That's 8.3 degrees above what a typical January average temperature should be. And so far, that's good to make it the fifth warmest January on record in the tri cities alone. And as far as high temperatures are concerned for tomorrow, given that we're going to be inching back up into the mid 30s and going above average, I don't expect that we're going to drop from that category in the next couple of days. Take a look at weather here at home tonight on the first one five pinpoint Doppler radar live from MBS. Aside from an isolated flurry or two here and there, things are going to stay very quiet under these cloudy skies. It won't be until tomorrow when a new batch of light snow showers start to work their way in from the west. So a live look outside tonight. We head to downtown Flint. All quiet there in the vehicle city tonight. Looking good on the bricks and feeling pretty good, especially by January standards anyway. It's 33 degrees, feels like 33 with a calm wind in place, and the barometer largely unchanged with high pressure still in control, way up there over the 30-inch mark. Overcast skies being reported in Cairo from our weather spotter and Cherry there, also with a temperature of 31 degrees and 31 as well as we check in with Glenn rally in Bangor Township also under similarly cloudy skies. High pressure on the sky tracker today has positioned itself just a bit farther south and east into parts of Indiana. It'll continue east over the next couple of days. Here's the disturbance that's going to be rolling in for tomorrow. Area of low pressure over the Dakotas. It's going to track in across the southern Great Lakes, pushing that round of, as you can see there, very light and widely scattered snow showers in along with it. So the hour by hour forecast, 8 o'clock on into midnight, not changing for where we are right now. Overcast skies continuing to dominate. Again, possibly a light flurry, but nothing really substantive. Heading into tomorrow morning also looks like a dry start to the day, but then we hit lunchtime. Areas around Alma, maybe the Tri Cities and Torto Wasso, you'll see the first wave of snow shower activity come on in. A lot of that will then begin to congregate north and west of the bay and the Tri Cities closer to 3 p.m., gradually building east, but becoming a bit more isolated into tomorrow evening, before then quieting right down again as we head on into tomorrow night. 27 is your overnight low for tonight. Cloudy skies with a few flurries possible. Looking ahead to tomorrow in the first one five seven day forecast, we'll be back to 35 degrees. So bringing uh, January to an above average end in terms of the high temperatures. 37 on Saturday with rain and snow showers expected. And regardless of what the groundhog said, <laughs> it's going to feel like spring on Groundhog Day. 44 the high, mm -hmm. even with some sun managing to fight through the clouds. But the nature's an overachiever all of a sudden. Yeah. Flip it to February and all of a sudden, <laughs> yeah. new, new outlook. Good for her, and we get the benefit. Exactly. All right, thank you, Brian. Yeah.